Hey guys, I hope you all are doing good. So today's video is about an AI tool that I have been using from past one month. And now that I have used this tool so much, I can confidently say that this is actually a very beneficial tool for you for generating a lot of options, a lot of uh, 3D renders. And also you can take your 3D views from this to this and also your elevation from this to this. You can generate different variation of your renders. So this tool is gonna be a very helpful tool if you go ahead and use it. And I'm not only going to talk about this tool, right now I will be also showing you live as an example how I use this tool and how it helps me in my workflow. So try watching this video till the end and guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead, hit a like and subscribe to my channel. I really need your support to keep making these kind of videos and keep bringing these kind of tools for your betterment. So go ahead, hit a like and subscribe. And without any delays, let's get started with the video, guys. So guys, the AI tool that I'm going to use today is Render AI. And this has a lot of features, a lot of functionalities built into it. But we will be going on to few of the tools that I regularly use. And I will show you the live demonstration of using these tools as well. So the first tool that I am going to use over here is 3D view to render. So for that, we have to switch back to my computer. Let's go. Okay, guys. Uh, so the first thing that we are going to use is 3D base to render. So here you can see that uh, there are a few options on our left hand side. Here you can see that we have image style. Uh, I have selected realistic because of course, most of our client always ask for realistic renders. So I'm selecting that. Now you have an option to select your 3D base. So 3D base is basically, uh, you can take a screenshot directly out of your SketchUp model or Revit model or you can export a 3D view, okay? You don't have to render anything, just a 3D view that I'm going to show you right now, okay? Upload an image, uh, not this one. I'll go, I have created a separate folder for this testing. Okay, I'm going to select one of my uh, images. It's a interior image of a living room that you can see on your screen. And now I have an option over here, how much image strength do I want to maintain? I always like, uh, since a long time, like I have always uh, selected it to be like 60% to 70% because I want accuracy, okay? So that is very important. And now uh, it's on us how we want to describe this image, okay? So I would say that don't make entire sentences while describing a scene, just describe uh, one word at a time or one sentence or smaller, like brief description. So I'm going to type and for creativity, I will keep it to 50% so that it is very accurate, not just random image generation. And I will generate only two images because um, it will take shorter time and I can do my edits later on. So these are all my settings and I will just click on generate. Let's see how the out output comes. It won't take a lot of time. It just takes maximum 30 seconds to 45 seconds. So guys, we have our results and I would say that it's not a bad result. It is pretty good overall if you'll see and if I change a little bit of my references you can see the quality the quality the shadows the lighting that it has considered it's pretty good I might have to do a little bit of edits over here but what I will do is I'll change I'll add more details in to our uh, prompts and see how it works so guys, we have our results. Uh, there are three to four different results that I have gotten. So this is one of the results. And here you can see that it has done a pretty good job. It has even taken into consideration the uh, glass that was there on the countertop. It 
hasn't changed the image too much it has generated overall a very very good results because the chandelier that is on top of the island counter it is also good the uh, lighting that is above uh, above the dining table it is also pretty good the outside exterior view is not that bad uh, we can again of course uh, go ahead in photoshop or we can select this quick fix tool and change what is there outside it has also considered the uh, cabinet that i have made on the corner over here uh, we can again go ahead and change that TV unit that it has messed up a little bit but overall overall I would give this image generation at least 7 out of 10 because it has done a very good job by lighting like the can you see the lighting reflection on the ceiling it's very damn accurate and the lighting on the ceiling the normal ambient light and everything it's really really good you can see that the backsplash on the counter on the uh, kitchen is also very good it has also considered the central oven and the gas stove that we have arranged it has also considered the um, chimney that we have the fridge that we have so everything is where it should be the bar stools are also pretty good quality so for a initial render or an option this is a pretty good job done so guys now the next tool is elevation to render this is also a very useful tool but again we will be switching to the computer and using this tool okay guys so now let's try elevation to render okay so here i have a revit file open and i am a very lazy person sometimes so what i'll do is i'll just take a quick screenshot of this i won't even export this view i'll just take a screenshot just because of course i'm feeling lazy today so I'll go ahead here, I'll select realistic image, then I will select the image. Now the image has been uploaded and here what I'll do is I'll describe the scene, what it is. Elevation. I haven't described this image that much, but I just want to show you like even if you describe it the least po in a least possible way, it will still understand what it is and probably try to generate an image that is relevant to the elevation that you will probably have so let's see so we have the image that has been generated and i would say guys this is this is really really good like it understood like what the scenario would look like it has also generated a foreground for me which wasn't there which wasn't there in my screenshot and we will also see that how uh, so i have used a revit sample project for this so most most of the time they have a 3d view for this as well so we can see like what they have thought of this or how they wanted it to be so just have a look it has done a pretty decent job when it comes to this view look at it the look at the detail it has taken in consideration all the windows the shape of the windows is exactly how it should be it has also generated some uh, shop facades as well without even saying it has it has also considered the arch windows that we have and a central arch window that is on the center over here it has the circular thing over here so that's what i was saying like if you want to have quick images quick references or quick option generation by using just your elevation or just you want to think like okay how would it actually look like without rendering then i would say this is the thing for you because it is very quick it just took me what 45 seconds to generate this and i can even download this from here just by clicking download and also i can upscale this image up to 4k so if i click here it will up upscale and enhance this image so the textures and all of these things will be enhanced and i'll click on generate so guys here's the full scale 4k image that we have over here it's really good everything is crisp it has improved the image a lot of course like if you go into the minute or like the minuscule detail it won't be that 
amazing but you can see here when i download it it's a very very good and crisp image that we can generate in elevation to render so guys that was the demonstration of elevation to render now the next tool that i'm going to use is sketch to render so as an architect like you know i sketch a lot and we sketch a lot to generate initial concepts but what if a tool or an ai tool that can help us visualize that sketch directly into 3d without even making a model so that we can get approvals on that so this tool is for that specific purpose okay guys let's try out the next uh, favorite feature of mine that is sketch to render i usually use this one because while generating like you know options or while generating initial concept of uh, a design i usually sketch and i use this feature for that and i have always wished that we should have something like this and due to ai we have it now so i'll go ahead and select a sketch uh that i have i think so i can select this one so once i have selected this sketch what i will do is i'll go here and type in my prompt hmm see for a sketch it's not bad because the sketch and the image was of very low quality but still it has done a very good job as you can see over here and here very nicely done i like it okay so that was our testing of sketch to render and you saw the results are really good right now we'll be testing render variations so this is something that i spoke in the introduction of this video so sketch to render is basically you can generate variations of a single render for example you have taken a render that is in daytime but now you want to convert it into a evening render or at a night render night renders as we all know they are very difficult to make so this tool can do what i'm talking about right now so let's go ahead and try it out okay guys the next feature that i'm going to test is render variation i have used it personally and it has done a good job in my tests which i have done previously so let's go ahead and upload an image i have my own renders which i do for my clients so i will just select some of the renders that i have done previously okay um let's select this one i have selected night variation here you can go and select like you know image variation you can select different things like spring summer winters so here i want to select the night view because you know in rendering the night view is the hardest to generate most of the time it's hardest to generate so i will select this one this is a very high resolution image because i have rendered it so this is a render that i have done and for keywords like i won't type anything over here i'll just go here and select what is this uh, entire image like so elevation frontal view probably yes residential building and uh, space type i won't select that and strength style strength is 100% image strength is 50% i can increase it a little bit to let's make it 60 and let's generate two options for this one and let's click generate let's see what it does for this specific image where we have to convert it to a night time render wow it has done a really good job guys look at the details and the textures that it has maintained and retained over here it's better than what i expected it's crazy wow amazing job i would say so this is how you use the render variation feature you can have multiple options into it it has retained all the lights that i wanted it to retain it has retained the lights inside as well and enhanced it so i would say very very good job
I would even download this because I didn't expect it to do this good job. I would keep this and probably use it in later uh, interaction with clients. See, this is how the image was. And this is what it has done. Isn't it crazy job that it is doing? So this is what I was telling you. Like you can use these tools to quickly have a lot of options on your hand just by giving like five minutes of your time to this you can have like at least 10 variations of 10 different styles okay so last but not the least this tool is really cool and it also so shows us that how powerful ai is getting right now so this tool is image to render or image to video render image to video i have already tried and it was really good uh, to use so what i will do over here is i will select the same image that i selected before for the night variation i'll just put in uh, the image it is loading and once the image has been loaded okay so if you want to crop if you want to do something you can do that but i'm not going to do that i'll select what kind of motions do i want i'll select um, dynamic motion and uh, orbiting and cinematic drone let's see what it does it takes 25 credits but uh, you will be surprised by what it can do by your image just have a look guys like isn't it amazing like it's just it was just an image and it has generated all of this by using that and it is considering how the reflections will move it is considering how the internal uh, internal view of this entire residential building will move like so i think so it can be a really good tool if you want to see or animate your 3d views and probably if you give it more information about the view i didn't give any information if you give more information more images to sample from it will be really good and the movie creation tool that will be available soon will be something insane where you can create an entire walkthrough by just putting on your renders which will be really good let's see but overall i am uh, really happy by the output that it produces as you can see it is a good output it is generating all the reflections properly it doesn't look absurd everything is maintained the shape of the building is maintained which is what we want so guys this was the brief demonstration of this render ai and I'm sure you might be impressed as well because I am personally impressed by it because the consistency and the quality of the images and the video that it produces is really good. It also uh, takes the scenes very critically. It doesn't alter your image or doesn't alter your renders or elevation too much. So I think overall, um, if you have to use this tool or all of these tools for generating options, initial concepts in which a lot of time goes uh, for architects because clients are people who just crave for options. Give us options, give us options, give us options. This tool will help us in that a lot. So go ahead, check it out all the links and all the information is in the description so go ahead check out that link check out the description you might even get some kind of discounts while getting into this ai so go ahead check it out try it out and this is how we grow in an industry this is how you know that new tools are coming up and how powerful they are and guys don't forget to hit a like and subscribe to my channel because your support is the only thing that keeps me going and keeps me making these videos on a weekend for all of you so yeah all i need is your support and nothing else take care of yourself i'll see you soon bye bye